Hello, this is Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video, I'm bringing you to Boston, Massachusetts to share with you the Old State House. The Old State House in downtown Boston was built in 1713 and was the seat of the Massachusetts General Court until 1798. It is located on Boston's Freedom Trail, so you can visit it any time of the day or night. And in a few moments, I'm going to be sharing with you the inside of the building. But notice that this is one of the oldest buildings in Boston, and it is one of the oldest buildings maybe in the United States of America. Outside of the State House, you're going to see a big medallion, and it helps to document the Boston Massacre, which took place on March 5th, 1770. This picture engraving, done by Paul Revere, helps document what happened on this day. Amid tense relations between the civilians and the British soldiers at this time, a mob formed around the British sentry and verbally abused him. He was eventually supported by seven additional soldiers, led by Captain Thomas Preston, who were hit by clubs, stones, and snowballs. Eventually, one soldier fired prompting the others to fire without an order by Preston. The gunfire instantly killed three people and wounded eight others, two of which later died of their own wounds. The crowd eventually dispersed after acting governor Thomas Hutchinson promised an inquiry, but they reformed the next day, prompting the withdrawal of the troops to Castle Island. Eight soldiers, one officer, and four civilians were arrested and charged with murder, and they were defended by the future United States President John Adams. Six of the soldiers were acquitted, the other two were convicted of manslaughter and given reduced sentences. The two found guilty of manslaughter were sentenced to branding on their hand. Here's another glimpse of what it looks like outside of the old state house in front of it, and this is where that massacre would have taken place. The old state house and Faneuil Hall, which is located right across from the old state house, are the two oldest buildings in this downtown Boston area, and this picture gives you some perspective as to what it would have looked like in the 17 and 1800s, and now what it looks like today, where these two buildings are surrounded by skyscrapers and modern buildings. If you look very carefully at the architectural elements of the old state house, you will see this lion and a unicorn on the top of the roof of the building, and they are the same coat of arms that are used in the United Kingdom today. And there's an important history of the lion and the unicorn, as you're about to find out. On July 18, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was proclaimed from this balcony to jubilant crowds by Colonel Thomas Crafts, one of the Sons of Liberty. During the very festive celebrations that occurred after this day, the Boston residents took down the unicorn and the lion, and they made a bonfire on King Street and burnt both of these symbols of the British government. In 1881, in response to plans for the possible demolition of the buildings due to real estate potential in this area, as you can see it's very valuable, the Bostonian Society was formed to preserve and steward the old state house. In 1881 and 1882, restorations were conducted by George Clough. And in 1881, replicas of the lion and the unicorn statues were placed at the top of the building once again. The eagle on the side of the building was also added in recognition of the old state house's connection to American history. Now let's take a look at the inside of the building. We're going to start first with this diagram that gives you some perspective as to what's inside. You can see that underneath the building are the subway trains with its own station which leads into the building there's a spiral staircase in the center of it and several other rooms that were used for different purposes. But also keep in mind as you're looking at the pictures and video, for example, this staircase in the middle was not original to it and it was added in the 1830 restoration of the building, making the interior more of a Greek revival style. So that's why you see all of these various architectural styles inside and outside of the building. 
This is now inside of the Old State House Museum, and even though it's listed on the National Park Service website, the Bostonian Society runs the museum. The admission for adults is $15, seniors over the age of 62, $14, children under the age of 12, $8, and it also includes admission to the Old South Meeting House. The hours of operation are between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. and please look in the description box below so that way you can see the website and get a better picture of what is inside of the museum. If you're on the Freedom Trail, I highly suggest that you stop in and just visit the gift store as it has a lot of Bostonian souvenirs that are more historically related and there aren't that many gift stores in the area that have that type of memorabilia. So just keep that in mind when you visit the store. I would say that it would take about an hour and a half to two hours to see the museum itself. Um, it's very walkable, it's air conditioned, which is a good thing, and there is a lecture that is given by one of the people from the Bostonian Society. Definitely, if you're going to pay the fee to get inside of the museum, I would highly suggest that you put the lecture inside of the time that you're going to be visiting as it will add a lot of value to what you're seeing here because without just walking into this room, you really don't have a historical perspective unless you know that from reading about it beforehand. This is what it looks like inside of the council chamber and this is where they have the lecture. The lecture is about maybe 30 minutes or so. The lecture is really meant for children and people of all ages and it talks about the historical nature of the building, how it was maybe constructed, what's happened inside of the building. They do talk about the Boston Massacre and as you can see if you look out some of these windows you'll get a different perspective and to imagine what this area would have looked like during the 1700s from this vantage point of either seeing the Boston Massacre or reading the Declaration of Independence from this particular balcony. Historically, the Old State House was the political, economic, and geographic center of the Massachusetts Bay Colony since it was built in 1713. The Old State House has played host to the most influential minds that helped shape the world as we know it today. Exploring the various floors of this museum is very educational and very family friendly. There are many exhibits that are designed for children for educational purposes to teach them about the history of Boston as well as those historical places of interest that are on the Freedom Trail that have to do with the American Revolution and the founding of the United States of America. The highlights of the artifacts inside of this museum include treasures such as John Hancock's red velvet coat, real tea from the Boston Tea Party, and Paul Revere's dramatic bloody massacre on King Street, a political cartoon that in 1770 sent tremors throughout the colonies and helped spark the American Revolution. This is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Thank you for watching this video on the Old State House in Boston, Massachusetts. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.